Welcome to K. Keith Photographer's Digital Images Techniques and Tips for the Novice Photographer. And now, coming at you almost live from Kansas City, USA, here's your host, Ken Keith. Hi, everyone, and welcome back. Just a, a quick note for everyone, whether you're in the local user group or watching us on Vimeo or YouTube, that these videos are now on the photo blog at kkeithphoto.wordpress.com. So you have three opportunities where you'd like to view these. Uh, we'd be uh, more than happy to have you visit with us at any of those sites. And of course, all of our videos are in HD. But one of the more popular videos that I've done uh, on the how-to side is, is the one that's called Montage Image Blending. And um, I just recently received a, an email from a YouTube viewer who said, how do you do this in Photoshop Elements 9? Now, if you've watched the, the previous one, or if you are a user of Photoshop Elements three through eight. The previous one is the one that you'll want to watch if you're an Elements 9 user, and I strongly recommend upgrading to 9 whenever you can if you're not already a, a 9 user. Uh, then we're going to do something uh, similar, but it's a lot easier in Elements 9. And the reason so is that we no longer have to what they call hijack a layer mask. And what I mean by that is, for example, you have a, a layer and we want to do a montage image blending. The one first things that we, we have to do is add a layer adjustment. And we're not going to actually make the, an adjustment in it, but we wanted this mask. And there was no uh, way to a la carte call up a mask uh, in the previous versions of Elements. So we use this, and we, we brought our, our second photograph in, and then we had to make a clipping group so that the uh, mask and that layer uh, work together. And, uh, you know, it, it works fine, but more complex than it needs to be, especially now in Elements 9. Let's don't do that, so let's throw away that layer and the mask that goes with it. Also, I want to mention before we get started uh, that you'll want to set your foreground and background color uh, colors to their default of black and white. And also, um, when we uh, start to use the gradient tool, which we will again here, when you select that, make sure that the linear gradient is selected. And just in case you've been working with gradients in a on a previous photo and you had one of the other uh, types of gradients done uh, in use, you want to just go back and make sure you have linear in. And also, uh, we are in now cascade mode. If you're here in the window, images, and uh, most people will, will put in uh, something else, but let's uh, do cascade. That makes things simpler for us here too. All right, so we have a pretty picture of Patch at sunset, and he's going to be thinking now about his girlfriend, uh, Sassy, in this case. And uh, so we're going to drag her in here. And you know, it says um, she's a, a little bit larger, so let's go ahead and resize her down. I'm just going to press the V key, and I'm going to resize her a bit, move her around. Also, if you have a, a picture that's very large and you don't see uh, the handles here, I just hit Control and Zero, and now you can see all of them, and you can do your resizing from there. All right. Okay, she's good there. Now, instead of uh, going through the uh, finding an image adjustment uh, between these two, make these two a clipping group. All we're going to do now is we're going to go down to the bottom of the panels 
and we're going to get and make sure we you have this layer highlighted and get your white layer mask so um, let's now blend it together with the gradient and click here here and I'm going to show you a couple of different things but um, uh, there's going to be actually two parts to this in the first one we're going to do just as in the previous video we're going to select the black to white now, this is important that your default foreground and background colors are as they as you see them here and I'm just going to draw a line across and voila they are blended together now that is really easy and of course we just finish this out by cropping and and that sort of thing and uh, you know you can go into the you can go into these different layers and make any sort of other adjustment that you'd like to make as far as um, you know brightness levels and do some sharpening or any of that sort of thing and uh, also a uh, notice it now when you start with your gradient tool you'll want to make sure of course that your mask thumbnail is highlighted and you can tell that because it has a white ring around it if, if that ring is here on the actual uh, photo thumbnail and you try this operation it's not going to work so just uh, reiterate make sure you just click over here until you see that and then you can go ahead but now what if you decided well this has got a kind of a strange background pattern and I really don't like the way that uh, intrudes on his ear well that's fine too we're just going to get a regular brush uh, foreground color still remains black and up here in the mode darken and we're going to paint right in here and we're painting on the mask and we're bringing back all of his ear detail if we wanted to bring out anything more of his face we could just do it that way that is really simple and so much quicker than in previous so now let's take a look at one other uh, item in masking that I think you'll find uh, useful especially if you're going to be doing some montage image blending in which you are going to be coming in and blending in from more than one direction. So we'll see you back here in just a moment. Okay, now in this example, I have two pictures once again, but instead of having two that are kind of co-joined in which both images are approximately the same size and we're, we're blending them together, uh, this image has edges in two different directions and we're, we want to blend it in two different directions. So what happens is, I've, I've gone ahead and added my, my layer mask as in the other one. We go to our gradient tool and we select black to white gradient and we uh, make sure once again that the layer mask is highlighted. We drag over and of course it's nicely blended and then we say ah well but let's uh, blend out this hard edge on the top so uh, once again I still have my gradient tool selected and I drag it down uh, blends perfectly but what happens over here it displaced or took away our blending over on this side so what's our solution to that well the solution is use a different gradient tool and in this case we're going to go back here and this time we're going to select the second one foreground to transparent and once again it's important that your foreground color is black as it is by default and now we'll go ahead and use that one and perform the same operation drag in from this way nicely blended drag in from this way nicely blended there you have it those are some of the fun things to do in elements 9 hope you've enjoyed it and learned something there keep shooting and we'll talk again take care now bye bye